This is the first image of the supermassive black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. It looks like a fairly rudimentary picture of what's known as Sagittarius A star, but this image took an international team of scientists years to produce. The black hole resides inside the dark region at the center of this image, where its gravitational pull is so strong the light cannot escape and only darkness remains. The black hole is four million times more massive than the sun. The image was captured using eight radio telescopes positioned around the world. In 2019, the same team also produced the first ever picture of a black hole called M87. It's way bigger and 2,000 times further away than Sagittarius A star. Or we're fairly confident that there's a supermassive black hole at the heart of every massive galaxy. Canadian Daryl Haggard is one of more than 200 scientists working on the project. It's a little bit miraculous, really, that the human mind and human ingenuity and curiosity has taught us so much when we can't even leave our solar system. She says the image is confirmation that Albert Einstein got it right with the theory of general relativity more than 100 years ago, a complicated hypothesis that credited gravity with warping space and time by matter and energy and predicted black holes. It's like a verification of all of these ideas that we've had and we've been developing over many generations of scientists just really brought literally to light. Where do you go? In a black hole, we don't know what happens. Science educator Marley in. Leacock says people really are fascinated by black so holes because so much is still chance. unknown. So is she believes these images will lead to answers. Away. But I really want to go more into how they change over like the time scale of a galaxy, right? Like how does a galaxy come to have a black hole in the center of the first place? A picture worth more than a thousand words, a potential key to better understanding not just black holes, but the universe. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.